Hey guys, welcome back to another Capital Gains video and today we are checking out NEO. NEO unfortunately is the leading EV stock that is on the decline as the EV bubble has popped. I repeat, the EV craze has popped. And I will be making another video covering the whole EV stocks in general, but this one, once again, is targeted on Neil. Why? Because just on Robinhood, there's a quarter of a million people who are supporting the stock, and that makes me worried. That makes me feel like a lot of these people didn't really know was what they were doing, didn't know what they were investing into, and I feel worried for them because as you can see in the past week, it is now down at least 30%, if not more. And most people who are, I'm pretty sure, holding are on a losing streak right now. I have seen a lot of comments in chat groups like, oh my gosh, Neo is down, Neo is down. What should I do? What should I do? When it goes up, of course, they're happy. Like from Tuesday this week, it, they bought in at $13. It goes up to $14. they are all happy, handy dandy. They're all like, oh, from $14, it's going to go to $15. From $15, it's going to go to $16. And everybody's happy as long as they're making some gains. But unfortunately, it was a nice, steady decline every day. Day. Why is NEO down? Why are they the leading EV stock from the bubble going down? Huge loss this week. Last week, it was a huge gain. It had a huge run up. Again, everybody's saying it was going to the moon. It did dip in this peak right here at 14, almost $15. And people were buying in under 13. And again, they were able to take it all the way to $16. Good gains, good gains. This looks about 20% gains. But now from the tip all the way down under 30%. So if you buy anywhere from $11 and up, you might have zero gains or you might have a loss. And the problem is there's people who will make some money. They'll make from money from $6 and then they'll double it to 12 and then they believe it in the stock even more and they dump even more money. So then some gains are lost. So again, I'm very scared for the people who are bag holders with Neil. I called it out in my last video that Neil was not a good stock and, and a lot of people did not like that on my video, it got a lot of dislike. One of my most disliked videos, a lot of comments bashing me that I just didn't know what I was talking about. You know, and that I was a crybaby for not getting on the trend. And you know, that I missed out on the trend, that has nothing to do with it. I would have called it out. I would have said, I'm on Neo. I'm hoping to double my money. I'm hoping to get 50% gains, then I'm out. This stock is not gonna hold its value. This stock is poop in my opinion and I kept saying that because it is a Chinese company not because it's a Chinese company because of the fact that it's a Chinese company but because it's in China like you're investing in a Chinese company and a Chinese company you all have you have to deal with the state the Communist Party of China and why would you it's just so risky super super risky to invest in a company like that you can do super good or you could do super bad depending on how you're on the Communist Party of China and apparently um, you know I'm pretty sure they liked it I like the I think they like the gains, but overall, in order for NEO to keep its valuation at over $10, which I'm very confident now that it's gonna drop under $10, it's just gonna continue to sell off. And I'm not the only one who thought about that. We finally got the huge banks coming in and saying the rating for NEO is an official sell. This comes from Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs says it's cutting its rating on NEO and it's saying that they wouldn't be surprised to have their stock go back to $7 or that's their price target at seven dollars and that's still pretty considerably high knowing that before all this hype before all this ev craze if we look at the three months chart it was easily trading around under five dollars before it started picking up some steam slowly nice and surely before that as you can see and the one year mark the highest was over, a little bit over a dollar but overall always trading under a dollar and then here's the ev craze hype wave one wave two and the crash that's why neo is doing really bad it's because it just cannot hold its valuation and it's a Chinese company. It can only attend to the Chinese customer. They cannot export this car to other parts of the world, uh, especially because everyone is trying to protect their prime company. The U.S. wouldn't let these cars enter the U.S. without uh, putting tariffs, without putting any regulations on making it difficult for Neo, the, the company, to succeed here. Their car looks awesome. I'm, I'm not bashing their cars. I'm just bashing the whole business in general in the sense that it's not going to be able to expand. It's not going to keep its market valuation. People were just they were buying the stock they were just flipping the stock they were just trying to make a quick buck on the stock most people were not trying to be real investors and the people who would invest in this company is a long term and are holding a bag as long term investors you know they're the ones gonna that are gonna get screwed over and unfortunately that's a lot of people right now other than Goldman Sachs saying that it sees its valuation to be lower than where it's currently at a lot of people started selling off a huge sell-off today today by itself before the market closed it went down 15% almost 
almost two dollars full through the trading day so again be careful if you're holding neo uh, it, the reason why is it can't keep its valuation is because it cannot grow dramatically like other companies tesla itself you know it's dominating the american markets it's going to the european markets it's even going to china it's because P chinese consumers want those vehicles they want tesla vehicles everybody's crazy over a tesla i don't hear people saying well i wish we could have neo here in the states i wish we could have neo it's like no and neo had its own financial problems that they were able to get their head out of the water a little bit with financial problems that i was reading about but that doesn't matter overall the stock they were not going to succeed in the short term to hold the value valuation and uh, as you guys know if anything goes up super fast it's going to come down really quickly also if we look at the 200 day moving average it says it should come back to five dollars this is the burgundy line right here on weeble my moving averages are just all out of place we're looking at the one day charts every dot is one day and here's the first wave the second wave and again the crash it's coming down it's coming down because not uh, goldman sachs was the good indicator of like yeah you should sell if you're holding this uh, but unfortunately not everyone reads goldman sachs or keeps up with the huge stock analyst news so that's why i'm bringing you the news that first of all you shouldn't have bought this in my opinion because it was due for its pop at any time i believe when i recorded my video it was still on its climb up it was around 13 dollars and like i said if it went from 13 dollars all the way to 16 so a couple of good gains uh let's calculate how much that would have been we were trading around 13 it went up to 16 so yeah 20 percent gains like i was saying but unfortunately now from 16 it's going down where it's at right now it's gone down 30 percent in total this one week but i do foresee it even going lower as much as 50 percent and going if it goes back to seven dollars where it's going down to 50 percent so this is like a, the whole s p 500 and nasdaq crash in march you know it went down 30 percent most of the indexes went down 30 percent and you're having neo go down 30 percent in a couple of days uh so that's if you're holding this stock it's like a stock market crash in your portfolio i'm really sorry hopefully you can uh figure out okay i'm just gonna write it out i guess i'm just gonna uh, dollar cost average i hope this company can turn things around and say no we're doing that uh, honestly i don't know what they can do to bring back investors most people are just fleeing it was a pump and now most people are fleeing so be very very careful not just with neo but with other stocks but again neo in my opinion my book was always the biggest loser because of that problem that they cannot hold their value they cannot keep growing they cannot expand marketplaces and that was my huge message in my first video that again I was ridiculed for but uh, not here to say I told you so more about telling you oh gosh be very careful stock market is closed for the weekend so uh, next week uh, get yourself your investment plan okay i'm investing neo for the long run because i believe in a year or two they're going to have their valuation at 11 dollars, at 13 dollars. the sketchy thing is even if you look at their history at their choppy choppy history it's just it's not that great their track record is not that great on the five years so oof, oof, i would really reconsider what what the heck's going on that's why i stayed away from these stocks myself personally did not even want to do any day trading or trading of this stock because i just didn't know when it was going to pop and like this, you'd never know when an analyst like Goldman Sachs was going to say, that's it, guys, nah, -uh, I wouldn't be holding this. And then the major, major shareholders dump it real fast before anyone else gets a chance so they can try to get the best price wherever they entered at to cut their losses or capture some gains. If you got some gains, guys, let me know down in the comments. If you're holding a bag, also let me know in the comments. You know, I really feel for you, but that's why you need to subscribe to the channel so I can bring you guys the best stock market news that I possibly can to help you guys out i make no recommendations i'm just letting you guys know my viewpoints my opinions from what i know from the you know looking at the perspective of both sides of a buyer of a seller of a bull of a bear i try to be unbiased i look at the three sides of the coin if you did not know that there's three sides to a coin there's heads there's tails the left the right and there's the edge the center like i'm on the edge on most of these because i'm like okay i see this i see this viewpoint looks good because of these reasons but that viewpoint is actually on the negative side is actually stronger than the positives and again the the biggest negative about neo was that it cannot export to other countries a lot of countries are in competition with china they do not want their vehicles even though they look really nice i i do give them that you know beautiful car beautiful concept i like it i really really like it like this is going to be my thumbnail because it's just so damn sexy and attractive i would want one of these cars too but we got to deal with global economics sometimes we can't just look at the price of a stock and say oh wow it's 11 dollars. it's a great buy 
buy right now like most likely it's gonna go down to 10 and from 11 to 10 what what, what kind of loss is that if it, if this stock continues to go down because it, it, it closed the day at 1109 but in the aftermarket it sold off another nine cents for another almost percentage point so how much is 11 dollars to 10 approximately uh right there one right there uh minus nine percent almost oh gosh you know that that's a lot of percentage points if, if you're thinking trying to make some gains on nine percent is a is it's hard it's so much easier to lose money in the stock market so always be very very careful do your due diligence guys and with that that is my video bringing you guys an alerting message come up with a plan personally i did hear i did see a comment in another video oh wow it looks attractive at eleven dollar maybe i'll buy uh-uh please 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 stay away in my opinion go find another stock you know always do there's always an another stock out there there's another stock that's going to be better you know it just because of the price tag oh it looks so attractive you know the, the fundamentals are still you know even though we're kind of detached from reality the stock market is a little bit detached from the reality uh we still got to always think about fundamental and value investing in the long run uh, especially if you're going to be investing for the long run those are going to be your directions and guides to lead you into prosperity and to some great gains and to some actual growth stocks and that are going to bring you an, an immense return. Neil, again, didn't, didn't really have anything to offer other than, yeah, we're an electric EV company. You know, we, we want to do good. Every company wants to do good. But, you know, like at least give me a dividend. That way I could feel safer or feel value of holding you. But like, no, now we're just going down. Unfortunately, we're going to go down. I wouldn't be surprised to see another spike up, like a little spike up from last minute buyers. Like, oh, buying the dip, buying the dip. But I, I, honestly, this is not the dip. This is on the way down. So be advised. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? What are you guys doing? Or did you guys invest in this? If you are not subscribed, you best be subscribed because I'm trying to bring you guys the best stock market news on the current trends and the hottest stocks and whatever I think is should be brought up to your attention. So best be subscribed, guys, and turn on your post notifications, please. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. Godspeed indeed. Vehicle pitching downrange.